Welcome to Brown Girl Book Lover. I'm Leslie Ann Murray. Today we have Dawn Hooper, H O O P E R, <laughs> and of his book, True, True. I'm so glad to feature him today for our session on the narrator. Dawn, welcome to Brown Girl Book Lover. Oh, it's great to be on Brown Girl Book Club. I'm uh, super excited. <laughs> okay, tell us about your book, True, True. Uh, Choo Choo is about a kid from Brooklyn, uh, Jamaican family, Caribbean neighborhood, uh, who transfers to a Manhattan prep school to pursue robotics. He gets attacked in a racist incident, and then he reads Sun Tzu and stages a war against the administration. It's a lot about uh, building community, um, remembering the community you have, and like trying to find where you belong and trying to find out how to use your voice in a space that you've never been in before. Hmm. And tell me, why did you come up with this theme? And why is this an, an important story to tell? Uh, for me, I, I got, when I was in high school, I got attacked. I, I did go to a, a, a prep school and um, I got attacked when I was a freshman. Um, and then today I, I, I work with students around the city. And then when I see that they're still dealing with the same racist situations, uh, the same physical violence, and it's not necessarily being talked about the way it could be, um, I decided to, you know, kind of put it into a book, uh, and then just like have students see like, there's, there's more than one option, you know, like there is this moment where he does get into a physical situation, but he sees that if there's this uh, institution that allows this, and this institution is Augustine prep, which is representative of America. Uh, if there's this institution that allows this, then it's bigger than one bully. And what he has to do is go up against the administration because it's not just about one person, it's the institution and the system that allows that person to exist and allows that racist situation to happen. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. There are a lot of changes in, in private school, right? Especially with the diversity and equity initiatives. Do you think that is changing the landscape of for black and brown students in these spaces? I think it definitely has helped, but I don't think it's done enough in many ways you know very much if you're still one of three black students one of one of 10 black students in a place where you're you're representative of one percent of the population of the school or less than five percent of the population of the school you still don't feel like you could speak up for yourself mm -hmm. um, because you very much are aware that you're different uh and that's made clear by the by the microaggressions that happen you know it's just the little things that people say over and over that undermine your culture or make it seem that you're odd, like the way you talk, like, oh, it's surprising that you're like this. Oh, like, and they expect a certain thing from you. And then that's when you realize that you're an other. Um, and that makes, that puts all this pressure on you. Um, and, and it happens to, to, to not just black students, it happens to other populations, you know, queer populations, it happens to uh, Asian populations. Um, so, so that's what kind of True True is is focusing on because he does create this, group of friends uh, at school, but you know, he's also wrestling with what's going on at home. Yeah, I love how you're choosing to use the school as a microcosm of America and see how this young kid is interacting with this small version of a microcosm because when they, um, they, when they get out and they go into public school, into like, you know, university, it becomes they're interacting with a, the wider microcosm of America, right? And that's important to see that, like, I think when you are on the margins, and I don't really, I use that term loosely, but you're not part, you're, not, you're on the margins of America, right? You're always having to interact with these microcosms if you don't know it or not. And I love, like, just, like, the idea of, like, seeing how these affect you from, like, such a, a young age. That's really important. Yeah, it's 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 so important because those experiences that you have as a teenager or in middle school, you carry that throughout your life. And often you don't get a chance to just deal with the pain of what happened or the feeling of isolation that's happened. Um, and that's what True True is about. It's like Gil very much goes through it. Like, how do I he never really had a chance to talk to other people about his feelings because he was always around his friends. He always felt comforted because they were always there. And now he's away from them. And even though it's like Brooklyn to Manhattan, it's a train ride away, but 
he immediately feels separated from them and he doesn't know how to talk to them about what's going on. And that stresses him because, you know, especially the way black men are kind of we're, we're conditioned to view life a certain way. Um, he doesn't know how to release that vulnerable side. He's a, he goes into the school and he immediately has to be tough, mm. you know, through his friendship group, uh, Tammy and Janiel, he starts seeing like, okay, there's this vulnerable side that I have to learn um, with with this new set of friends just to create friendship, uh, as well as like, how do I how do I speak about my my issues and what has happened without being like, you, you know, he he he's he's towing the line. He's like, because he knows that they're looking at him as if he's aggressive. So mm -hmm. he's like, I can't do this because I'm this. I can't do this because I'm this. So he's like trying to trying to juggle all those emotions <laughs> yeah. you know while juggling school and like relationships and family um and i, I think that's that's tough and it, it's a good place to start conversations you know between teachers and students and parents and and, and and children what what two takeaways would you want people to know about uh true true that true true is not just a story about black trauma that it is very much a celebration of Black culture, uh, Black family, and community. Um, and it's about building that community. Um, and also that it's not about one conversation. I think when we look at DEI, it always feels like, oh, we just did this one thing. We did this uh, for this three months, we've done this, or we instituted this new rule. And they forget the ongoing conversations that happen. And True True is very much about, there's an ongoing conversation that needs to happen. It's not about just a big climax. It's about all the things that go into those conversations. And then there's a the big moment. And then it's like, we still have to have more conversations and we still have to keep the door open. And we still have to, allies, people who are allies need to know how to create space uh, and allow us to speak, uh, allow, you know, black, BIPOC, queer uh, voices to speak and be heard. Um, and I think that's that's a huge thing. So I'll say it's about community and conversations. And I think those are the two biggest things for me. And I want to know, how are you creating dangerously? Oof. I, I, I think even if, if I just look at true, true or beyond that, it's like, it's that feeling of not holding your punches or, or not pulling punches. And uh, if, if there's something you're going, I think, I think there was a time when we, we created, um, or at least when I was creating, where I was like, oh, I have to make this book for everybody. And that's not what I'm doing anymore. It's just like, I'm celebrating this. If it catches on, it catches on. If it doesn't, I mean, that, uh, that, that, that's just what it is. Um, but I'm just trying to celebrate these small pockets of humanity and black culture. And I think for the rest of the world, uh, that is dangerous because they have for so long silenced our voices and say, and, and use words like, oh, well, we tried that. It didn't work. We did this. It didn't work. We tried a movie with a black star. It didn't work. And then you'll see like a cutback and a push. And it's just like, no matter what, I'm pushing the door open uh, with books that are focused on black teens, uh, Caribbean culture, um, and like, you know, inner cities, but not just the inner cities that involve violence, you know, like they're always going to be there, um, when, when there are violent things, but it's like, those people have humanity too. Uh, and I think finding the humanity, uh, inside all those pockets of, uh, black and browns. And that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Broke girl, book lover, and talking about your book, True, True. Hey. Thank you so much. This is great.